from gorgonias to rhododendrons, from dolphins to wolves. Within a radius of a few kilometers, the landscape changes completely, revealing extraordinary treasures between the mountain peaks and the sea. These are the parks of Liguria, little gems of nature scattered along the mountains that face the Mediterranean. We will discover them together along the high road of the Ligurian Mountains, a spectacular excursion route that stretches over 400 kilometers inland, mainly along the watershed divide that outlines the region's coastal slope, passing through the heart of the great regional nature parks and connecting to other protected areas by way of specially constructed byways. I, the Golden Eagle, the Queen of Raptors, will be your guide on this unforgettable adventure through the natural beauties of Liguria. Follow me now as we approach the newest of the regional parks and in the Ligurian Alps. These reliefs make up the first sector of the Alpine chain. What makes these slopes so fascinating is their vicinity to the sea. The Alpine and Mediterranean settings blend into one another, yielding richly contrasted landscapes and incredible mixtures of flora and fauna. The nature park is made up of four distinct zones, just below the ridge that forms the border between France and Italy's Piedmont region. The woods are now crowned with autumn colors. The moist undergrowth is an ideal environment for small forest birds, such as the haw finch, with its powerful beak and its crested tit. The protected area is rich in streams and brooks. The dipper flits restlessly from one rock to another, diving to catch the small organisms on which it feeds. It spends most of its time preening its feathers, slathering them with fat. At mist rocky sediment and dolomitic formations, the relief becomes jagged with vertical rock walls plunging down to the valleys. This is the favorite spot for another small, rather rare bird, the wall creeper, which can sometimes be spotted near the picturesque town of Rialto. The limestone rocks harbor many karst phenomena. In the Fascitte Gorge, for example, the waters of the Negrone River disappear in a sinkhole, reappearing suddenly from a cave, the Garbe da Fus, in a spectacular waterfall. The dense woods in the narrow valley are home to a very elusive mustelid in the Pine Martin. A heavy snowfall has covered the reliefs of the protected area, which are now faintly tinged by the gentle hues of dawn. The highest peaks of the Ligurian Alps are in the Piedmont, beyond the deep ravine carved out by the Tanaro River. 
but there are also impressive mountains in Liguria, especially here, in the Imperia province. One example is the Saccarello Massif. At 2,200 meters, it is the highest peak in Liguria, only about 20 kilometers from the sea. When the vegetation is covered in snow, it is difficult for the chamois to forage for food. It is interesting to find them in Liguria, as this is the limit of their area of survival. When spring finally arrives, the stands of beech quickly resume their colors. Now the chamois have food in abundance. The black woodpecker, the largest and rarest of European woodpeckers, is already busy feeding its young. The snowy mountain pastures have also melted, revealing splendid blossoms of many colors. A magnificent short-toed eagle swoops over fields covered with brightly colored rhododendron bushes. A bold wheat ear soars to the peak of Saccarello, the highest mountain in Liguria. Here are some of my favorite flowers. This is the rare local turban lily. And these huge blossoms are pinnies. Marmots awaken from hibernation and warm themselves in the lukewarm spring sunshine. Only the sentinel is aware of my presence. With shrill, repeated cries, it warns the entire group that the time has come to flee.